Thanks for staying up with us and happy Memorial Day weekend. I'm Kenesha Dees. Fox 54 was out at today's Alabama Jubilee celebrating 45 years of fun at Point Mallard Park. The highly anticipated hot air balloon festival not only brings a lot of tourism to the valley, it also brings a lot of revenue. Our Nixon Norman has more. Here at the Alabama Jubilee, there's a whole lot of family, food, and and fun. There's a lot of pilots and patrons from all across the world coming here to Decatur, Alabama to enjoy today's festivities. How many events have been around for 45 years that are still basically the same, but they've grown to a different dimension that uh, we've never charged admission to get into the park, uh, never charged admission for parking, um, and the Jubilee started with 17 balloons, I believe it was, back in 1978 or so, and it's grown to what it is today, about 55, 60 balloons at times. Not only does it bring pilots and crew from all over the country, I mean, we have people from Wisconsin, Texas, even with the current gas prices and everything, people are still willing to come here. And then people from all over to Alabama who come in here to see the balloons because it is just such an unusual event. We've had visitors from as far away as the West Coast and England come in to, to attend the, the, the Alabama Jubilee. So it's a, an event that people know about, they hear about, they come in and they visit Decatur. And I've actually heard of some people that come in and visit and then they'll come back and start looking for a house. And for many, the Jubilee is one of the first events of the summer as school just got out. I'm excited because my school is like tough and exhausting from all the work. And so, you know, we get to have fun now and just relax. He and the rest of his family share the excitement of the day. What are y'all most excited about today? Just being out. Just being out? Yep. Be free. Be free? Be free. The music, the, the music. people. Just the atmosphere. The food. The food. <laughs> awesome. Nixon Norman, Fox 54 News.